Hello and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we are solving what can only be described as a trolling problem. For some reason, Meta likes to ask this as a warm up, so we're going to solve it. It is 824 Goat Latin. Now let's read this absolute great wall of text. You are given a string sentence that consists of words separated by spaces. Each word consists of lowercase and uppercase letters only. We would like to convert the sentence to Goat Latin, a made up language similar to Pig Latin. God, the rules of goat Latin are as follows. If a word begins with a vowel, A, E, I, O, or U, append ma to the end of the word. For example, the word apple becomes apple ma. If a word begins with a consonant, i.e. not a vowel, remove the first letter, append it to the end, then add ma. For example, goat becomes oat ma. Wonderful. Add one letter A to the end of each word per its word index in the sentence, starting with one. For example, the first word gets A added to the end, the second word gets AA, and so on. Return the final sentence representing the conversion uh, from the sentence to Goat Latin. So we have I speak Goat Latin. So we have I, so obviously this begins with a vowel. So what happens when we have a vowel? Um, we append ma to the end of the word. So this is why we get I ma, and then obviously we add one A based on its position, starting with one. So this is the first letter, so we add I'm A. Then the next one is speak. So when it doesn't begin with a vowel, then we remove the first letter, move it to the end of the word. So speak becomes peaks, and then we add ma, and then we add two A's because this is the second word, and so on and so forth. So for goat, we remove the G, move it to the end, so oat G, we add the ma, then this is the third word, so we add three A's. Latin, again, atin, l, ma, and then four a's at the end. Why they ask this, I don't know, just to confuse you, and can you keep up with all these stupid requirements? I don't know, anyway. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward, it's just annoying to solve, and you can make mistakes, and I don't know, just, yeah, who knows. Okay, but let's code it up. So we need to basically keep track of all the vowels here. So let's um, just write them out into a simple set. So obviously A, E, I, O, U, uh, and then we need the alphabet ones. So, or sorry, capitalized ones, A, E, I, O, and U. Okay, so now we have all the vowels because uh, we'll need to use uh, that later. So we need our results and Obviously we're returning a string, but we don't want to be concatenating strings because that involves copying them every single time. So we're going to use a string builder uh, and then join all of our strings together in the end instead of copying them uh, to override it every single time. So obviously the sentence is given to us um, with white space. So we want to split the sentence on the white space to actually get the individual words. So we're going to say split equals sentence dot split. So this will give us all of the words in the sentence. So we're going to say for I word in enumerate uh, split. We're actually going to pass one to enumerate, which is going to tell it to actually start counting from the first index. And the reason that we want that is because we need to multiply uh, add the number of A's based on the index, so, and we want to start from one. Okay, so we have the uh, the I, we have the word. Um, now what we need to do is we need to basically build our new string here. And again, we don't want to do um, string concatenations because that involves copying the string every time. So we're just going to use another string builder. So we're going to use current res, and this is going to be kind of our um, string build in the uh, a temporary string builder. And now we have our two cases, right? The first case is that we start with a vowel and the second case is that we don't start with a vowel. So let's do if word zero. So if the first character is not in vowels, what do we do? So remember that when it doesn't start with a vowel, we remove the first letter, add it to the end, and then um, that becomes our word. And then we need to do um, the common kind of operations and we'll see those in a second. So we're gonna say current res dot append. We're gonna say the word starting from the first index of the word. And then we need to add to that basically the last index of the word. So that's what we're gonna do there. Uh, otherwise, what we wanna do is we want to just append the word because if it's starts with a vowel, we don't do anything uh, to it to modify it. So we're just gonna say current res, the append, the current word. 
Now, in both the cases, we need to add a ma to the end of it. So we're going to say corres.pend um, string ma. And then remember, we need to basically add uh, a's equal to the, the basically the index that we are um, in the sentence. So we're going to say corres uh, extend extend and we're going to do a times whatever i is because i represents the index um, that we want to use here so now we basically have our string builder um, uh, the temporary one with everything that we need we just need to add that to the actual result so we're going to say res dot append um, we're going to join all of these strings together and then we're going to add that to our result and we do that for basically every single word in our um, split string. At the end, all we need to do is simply just return um, the joined back string together, right? So we just need to join our result and we should be good to go. So let's just double check. I didn't make any bugs. Looks good. Let's submit this and we are accepted. So what is the time and space complexity here? So for the time, we are obviously um, iterating over all of the words in our sentence. So let's call that M. And within each one, we need to do some operations where we could potentially be kind of concatenating uh, our string here. Um, and we need to basically join um, the this, this string together. So this is going to be big O of N, uh, where M is the number of words in the sentence sentence so n is the longest length so the, is the length of the longest word so obviously this is the worst time worst case of complexity there's m words and depending on um actually it doesn't really matter um because we just do it yeah it doesn't actually matter so um anyway sorry slow start to the morning. Um, so we have big O of M, which is the number of words in the sentence, and then N, obviously, because we need to do all these concatenations of the string. So it's big O of M times N. We have, you know, actually, no, it's just big O of, yeah, M times big O of N. All right, so actually, no, ah, slow day, sorry. M times N, where M is the number of words, and N is the kind of operations we need to do for actually joining everything together. Uh, for the space complexity, we have basically just our result here. Um, so that is just going to be, I guess, how long would the string be? It should be, in theory, the same length as our input. So it should just be big O of n, uh, where n, oh, no, no, let's just call it s, where s equals to length of sentence it's going to be a little bit longer but we're not it's not um quadratically increasing it's just linearly based on kind of how long the string is okay so um that is how you solve this problem as you can see it just it's just annoying it's not that hard to solve it's just one of those stupid questions where they throw a bunch of text at you and you have a bunch of conditions but it's just, I don't know, meant to confuse you or something. Who knows? Anyway, that's how you solve Goat Latin. Hopefully you haven't pulled out your hair as I have. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment. Helps with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel to help me grow. And I will see you in the next one. Hopefully it is less frustrating. Bye.